Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toys Capades channel in Malaysia. The Blue Beetle movie and toys are all out now. And in fact, I did watch it over the weekend and I was surprised at just how entertaining it turned out to be. The communication online right now seems to be centered on just how bad the box office is. But then again, this is a movie that hardly anyone was looking out for. So the fact that it made any money at all is pretty great. But I'm just saying that if you're a comic book fan or if you like the DC Universe in general, but you don't have any interest in Blue Beetle, but if you do happen to check it out anyway, you will most likely find yourself entertained. So the Toys R Us here in Malaysia has finally put up a larger selection of Blue Beetle movie merchandise. All of these are from Spin Master. And we've got the 12-inch scale figures right here. These ones are a really good deal because they're going for something like close to 70 Malaysian Ringgit which works out to about maybe 15 USD for a 12 inch scale figure that's pretty much fully posable. You know, I covered the Batman figure from the Flash movie the last time around here. Now these 12 inch scale figures from Speedmaster, they're actually pretty impressive. Okay, they've got really good possibility, above average detailing and you know, they don't come with any accessories of any kind but however, if you just want a large scale figure to put up on display, these ones fit the bill for a pretty good price. Now, in this wave, it's also supposed to be the villain Carapax and also an electronic deluxe version of the figure that comes with light up action. Okay, I don't see those figures here. Maybe they're not coming in at all. But it seems like if there's one single crown jewel in this entire series, then it's this deluxe electronic version. Okay, that's the one to get. Now, we also have the six inch scale figures, which I covered previously in an earlier video. Now, these go for about 29.90 Malaysian Ringgit, which works out to about close to 650 USD, probably the best deal in the market right now for a pretty detailed six inch superhero action figure. Now, these are pretty nice. They do look like scaled down versions of the 12 inch figures, but with far less possibility. Okay, and then we have these four inch scale figures. This is the first time that I'm seeing these here on the shelves. This is the Hero Mode Blue Beetle. Now, I don't know what is it about these packages, okay, but has cardboard gotten a whole lot cheaper because there's a lot of cardboard here, okay, and just a very tiny looking figure right there in the center. I feel that the presentation looks awful. This thing is supposed to come with some accessories, uh, two of them here to be exact. Uh, the price point for this is about 55 Ringgit Malaysia, okay, which works out to about maybe 11 USD. And I gotta tell you honestly, okay, that price point, okay, looking at the size of what you're getting here and the way that it's actually shown to you, uh, you compare that with something like the 12-inch figure, which is only like a couple of bucks more, all right? I gotta feel that, you know, this doesn't seem like much of a deal, all right? Granted, it's a different scale and it has those accessory parts. You can't see the accessories though, okay? They're hidden here at the bottom at this, you know, sort of like this base here, probably secreted underneath. Uh, on top of that, there's also another version here which looks strangely similar but this is known as the battle mode blue beetle okay so apparently you know when he's in battle mode it's a little bit more serious than hero mode okay i'm not sure but this version comes with the sword uh the sword accessory was pretty prominent in the movie it looked impressive and i feel that once again okay the presentation of this whole thing is just laying the whole product down because they're going with this plastic free packaging look and this is something that I don't think I've seen Spin Master do prior to this for figures of this scale previously when they did the Flash movie figures or anything before that. Those were nicely laid out in the plastic bubble, right? And you also got to see like the accessories that came with the figures as well. And that really helps, okay, in terms of how it's being shown to the consumer. The plastic free packaging here looks awful, right? Like I said, okay, it's like way too much cardboard and not enough of the figure. And especially with something like the sword accessory, I really think that that thing needed to be displayed to really make an impact, but you can't see it at all because once again, it's something that's hidden. And like I said, okay, this thing going for this price point, looking at it the way that it is, I just don't feel the value in it. I don't feel like it's much of a pickup. And that's why, you know, it comes back to the title of the video and you know, the prices for these things seem to be all over the place, all right? Why couldn't we just get like a six inch scale figure that's just packaged with the accessories. I think that that would have just made consumers want to just pick up a good representation of the figure in that particular scale. Again, you have the four inch scale figures which also have their own market, but you know, in terms of how they're presented, it just doesn't seem that appealing. And I also think that the price point on it, about 11 USD is a bit high, 
all right but let me know guys okay, what you think about these blue beetle action figures and you know are you interested in picking these up okay are you a fan of the character did you watch the movie most importantly what you guys think about it let me know in the comment section and i'll catch you guys again real soon with more content thank you take care out there